Hey guys, this is Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Alliance School. The guys at Fieldcraft Survival are carrying my book, Essential Wilderness Navigation, that I co-authored with Tracy Trimble. So I'm going to get on here and talk about a few things that you'll find very beneficial about the book and the surprise in the back. So if you go directly to the back of the book, you'll find that there is a topographic map that you can utilize for use inside the book as well. I'm going to show you some critical aspects of doing that. First off, it has some of these glue sticks, so take care when you're pulling that out that it doesn't rip the map. That'll be your first thing. So the map that we've included is an actual quadrangle USGS map. The main reason this is so beneficial is that you can utilize the map for the exercises that are found at the end of every chapter in the book, as well as you can coordinate with teammates and friends that you train with and work with and have a usable map that everybody's using the same data. When you're using this map, or heck for that matter, any topographic map, there's three things I want you to pay attention to whenever you pull it out and look at it the first time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on the left side of the map and go to the right and talk about some important aspects of it. The first thing to notice is that at the bottom of this map it says North American Datum of 1983, that's NAD 83 that you see right there, and the World Geodetic System of 1984 WGS 84. The reason this is so important is comparing the data from NAD 83 to WGS 84 is sort of like comparing oranges to tangerines. You're in the same family, but if you have somebody on your team that is using an 83 map and you're using the WGS 84 map, for example, you might be as much as 70 or 80 meters off seeing one another because of the change in topography. So if your map is updated all the way to WGS 84, then make sure everyone on your team has the same map updated to WGS 84 or their GPS units or their apps are also on WGS 84. The next part is declination, so let's take a look at that. So on this particular map, you'll see that the declination is 6 degrees, 16 minutes. That's constantly in change. And so if you have a map that's 20 years older than this, this number will be different. If you have a teammate that you're working with or training with, and they're utilizing a map from their area, their declination is going to be different because obviously declination changes as it goes across the earth. So getting a map like this and training with the book and with others is going to help you stay on the same page, same declination, and you're communicating literally orange to oranges rather than oranges to tangerines. Well, the next piece of the puzzle is the scale. The scale here is 1 in 24,000. One unit of measurement on this particular map is going to equal 24,000 of those same units on the Earth. So again, if you measure one inch here, you're actually looking at 24,000 inches. So again, in a study and training scenario, you've got a map, your buddy's got a map, your girlfriend's got a map, and they're all the same map if they've got this book. And that way, everybody can train on the same map. You can use the same topography, the same scale, declination, datum set, use the exercises in the back of the book, which we're going to go over next. And that way, you're all on the same page, studying the same information, and gaining the same skill set. So again, this is Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Blind School out of Kentucky, good friends with the fellas at Fieldcraft or Survival, very thankful that they want to share some information about the book. Our goal together, Fieldcraft, Nature Blind School, whoever, is to get you outside navigating safely and properly so you can go out and come back again.